<laughs> All right, Sedge. How do we make something like this wicked sharp? Okay, so I showed you how to sharp it on a knife, a big like chef's knife before. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna use the Tor Mac T8. But recently, it's funny you ask, recently somebody reached out and said, Sedge, could you guys show us how to use the small knife sharpening jig? This we can take, come on over. This we could take to the Tomac and we could use the regular knife jig like this. It's got a little bit of length to it. But then I would be at a, a really weird angle. So let's uh, set this up, could show everybody. And uh, it's, it, it's actually really simple. Awesome. Okay, so when you look at the small knife sharpening jig, this part here holds the handle. This part aligns the flat of the uh, back of the bevel here, okay? And then we will use our knife sharpening jig on there like that to hold here. So what we'll do is we'll slide it in here and I like to put it right about here, okay? So I have a good grip on it and I just tighten it. And what I do is I try to get it so it's not canted. I get it middle of the handle right about there and that should be good. Okay, now, Here's the point you gotta be really good on. You see that flat right there? You gotta make sure that that flat, I always get a flat surface, and I put the flat to the flat and tighten it up. And it is that simple. Okay, so now it's not moving. Where this also really shines is what if we have a really short blade like chip carving knives? Okay. That'll work perfect on it. Awesome. So if you feel awkward sometimes using just this on the tool rest, this is where the small knife jig comes into play. I use it with some of my pen knives that I've acquired over the years. So let's get sharpening. Let's do it. So the next thing we'll do, Big Day, is we'll take it like this, the knife sharpening jig. We'll slide it in here, and I always follow the slight angle like this. And the first knob I tighten is this one, and then I tighten that, and this is money. Let's do this, Big Day. I'll have you just mark that front edge right there so we can attain our bevel to our stone. Very good, and the other side. Okay. I always mark both sides. Good. Man, good. that's better than I can do, good job. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta adjust our tool rest for this whole setup. And you put that shappy mark on there. And the first test, when we looked at it, it's getting right up on the tip. So what we wanna do is get lower to the stone. And remember, always make sure that this is flat on here and your hand is back here to hold it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna release these knobs. And remember my directional, I'm going this way. That means I'm going down. I'll take a few spins like that and we'll check it just like this. You don't have to turn it on. Okay, and I like to go like this and then come back just to look and you'll see where we're starting to capture more of that bevel. Hopefully that looks good in the video. Okay, so come on over. We get our bevel. We're getting the majority of it. We're going to be regrinding some of this because it looks like it was uh, not a consistent grind on it. You got to be careful of that right there when you hit the stone because you don't want to hone your stone, <laughs> as you should say. So I'll do one side, then I'll do the other one because it's a, it's a consistent bevel. So that's the same as this. Now, as I do this, I want you to pay attention to the movement. It's really important. You have a slight curve here. There's a tendency for you to go like this and look right here, Chris, so we can get this here, but you don't want that. You want to maintain that flat spot. So I'm going to bring it down like this. Okay, and as I do this, see how I came up on there? And I just come back and I lift it like this, making sure that stays flat. Just like that. And that you'll get, and we're gonna just leave it just like that. I'm gonna turn it off so we can see. You're gonna see it's a nice, consistent grind all the way to the tip from here to here. That's awesome. Yep, and I'm starting to feel, feel this big D on the back. Pull it up, you feel the burr already, right? Yep. Perfect. So, and I'm gonna feel along the entire edge, and I'm gonna do a little bit more on the tip to get a little more burr there. Okay. Then it's your turn. All right, let's do it. And I'm 
trying to use the whole stone but it just bringing it like this and this lets you get that I'm just gonna feel right here and I got a, a burr on that side so I'm gonna have you do that side okay okay that's it good there you go perfect big D now lift it up okay you gotta be careful of that point see you don't want to rock that you want to maintain that flat that's what I always concentrate is making sure that remains flat nice and consistent big D good job awesome okay so now it's honing time it's that simple wow Okay, so we've got a quick grind on that. I had this already uh, taken with the stone grater at about 2000. So I'm going to now hone it. I'm just gonna rotate it like this because now we hone away from us, right? And that's what's nice about that pivoting table. Okay, so what we'll do is we reverse this so it's going away from us now. So I'm just gonna take this. I start it like this and then I walk my way in. You actually feel it hit the bevel like this. And I'm just going to take it like this and just be careful. It's the same thing, just lifting your arm. Oh boy, that's wicked shot. Holy macanoli. And I'm just going to take it like this. And you'll see. And I'm going to let you get the feel of this big dig. Okay. And just pick it up, pick up that arm. So you pick up this arm. There you go. Good. Good, good, and it's that wow. quick. And like we always say, be positive and stay sharp.